Guys, I promise you, this is probably one of the easiest bosses to one-shot. But even if you can't one-shot or if you started really recently, this should be a pretty good boss. Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the very hard boss for our Halloween event. This boy in a nutshell is composed of treats, so like every single Miyako is going to counter it. And so in this video, I will be going through a couple of different compositions, a couple of different videos and a lot of different sources. I've got Billy Billy videos, I've got YouTube videos, I've got from like the JP server and the CN server. And so before we get into it, let's talk about the event itself. So it is exactly the same as the others. You clear up until 1.15 to be able to unlock the boss. And then after clearing the boss, you're going to go into the hard mode and then you're going to be able to farm a whole bunch of shards. We've got Yori and we've got Halloween Miyako. On top of that, we have the hard mode and the very hard mode. And so very hard mode can only be cleared once a day. But here is where it gets a little bit spicy. If you can't clear the very hard mode like very easily, I would suggest just doing it once and don't dump any more into it. If you cannot clear the very hard mode within three turns or like three tries, then don't bother with it. Just get the first time reward and dip and use all of your boss tickets on the hard boss. On the other hand, the hard boss also has a similar breakpoint. If you can't kill the hard boss in about three turns or so, you're going to want to go back into the normal boss over here. All right, so that's a lot of the old information done. So pay attention here, guys. As you can see, we have Halloween Miyako shards and Halloween Miyako is actually an extremely, extremely important character. And the reason that she's so important is because she pops up in both in CB and in Arena. So what that means is that yes, of course, you should be farming out Halloween Miyako from these three nodes, but also in the Metal Gacha. The box is actually in the same formation as S Kokoro box. So here we've got the Miyako Halloween Memory Shards. And so what this means is that you do have a choice of dumping a lot of stamina to get your Miyako to four stars. In my opinion, that is the move. You're probably going to be refreshing about three to four times a day if you do want the four star Halloween Miyako. And so refresh three to four times a day, dump all of the stamina into 115, get those boss tickets, do the hard mode, and hopefully you will have a four star Miyako by the end of it. Generally speaking, most people are probably just going to have to spend about like 50 or 60 DAs to push her across from three star about like 100 DAs over to 120 which gets her the four stars and so that's probably what I recommend the three to four refreshes a day is probably going to cost you about like two to 2.5k gems and so if we put that into perspective that's about like 15 to 20 pulls to get her from three stars to four stars on the other hand you could just like straight up DA her but that's up to you guys but again Halloween Miyako is one of those units that you do kind of want at four stars I think a lot of you already have the four star summer Kokoro. And so that's that one over there. And so let's hop into the very hard boss itself. Again, this VH boss is relatively easy. I'm actually, you know what? I'm not going to even talk through him. I'm just going to go directly into the comps. All right, guys. So as you can see from my tabs up here, I have a whole bunch of Billy Billy videos and a whole bunch of these JP YouTube videos. And as always, all of these videos will be linked down in the description below. But to kind of organize this, let me walk you through each of these comps. The first comp that we have here is a two turn auto comp, which features Miyako, Jun, Kari, Sam and Yui. And so what this means is that you can just run this into the boss twice and you should be able to clear it. As you can see, everybody is at max rank 10. However, we do have the Yui 5 star over here, which I respect that not everybody has. Honestly, if you don't have the Yui, I'd probably try a Chika or a Misato instead. All right, and so moving on, next we have a full auto one turn clear, if I'm not wrong. And so this guy over here uses Miyako, Jun, Kari, Makoto, and Yukari. And so I'm relatively sure that this one resolves in a full very hard clear in one turn. So let's go to the very end. And so as you can see here, this is finishing up at 007. And so I would say if you don't have like the full requirements, maybe like a four star Makoto, stuff like that, I reckon that you can still achieve this, but like it might require a little bit of manual play. All right, moving on the next one, we have another one punch into auto into, oh, it's actually a level 107. This one is actually pretty spicy. Anyway, so this is the comp over here. Instead of the Yukari, you're using the Akino for the heals. But what Akino does have is a little bit of DPS to help out. So this is going to be a faster clear than the other one, probably. And so coming over to the end, the clear is in about seven seconds again. So you know what? I was wrong. But yeah, that is your one turn auto clear. And so let's just move on. Here we've got some manual comps. So this is a very hard comp. Uh, so I believe this is going to be a two turn one. And so obviously this is for you people who are not as geared as the rest of us. So this is using a Miyako, Jun, Kari, Shizuru, and S Kokoro. So again, if you are missing a couple of the key units, 
the most notable one here is Makoto, then this is probably what you're going to be using. However, let's move on and have a look at the next one. We have another manual comp if I'm not wrong and this one is using Chika so let me get into it okay here we go so this is very similar to the comp with like the Akino and the Yukari just instead you're using a Chika personally I would run the Yukari comp over this but like if you guys don't have your Yukari to five star which is kind of weird then I probably would use this one all right and so moving on I believe this one is another manual comp where we are using Yukari so that's kind of weird, man. And it's kind of weird because like this is exactly the same comp as the auto comp, except it has the Makoto with the four stars. So this is pretty much what I was saying before. You can most certainly one shot it. And so if you guys don't have the Makoto five, this is probably the comp for you. And then moving on over here, we have, oh, this is an interesting one. It's actually using Akari. So this one is also a one shot with Akari. However, it is manual again. And so coming over to the end, we are going to be finishing at about, it's about like 10 seconds or so. So that is, it's actually a lot of leeway there. And so it's for that reason that you're probably going to be able to get away with like a lower star team. All right, and so that's it for the JP comps. Let me head over to fan subbing. So big shout out to fan subbing for this one over here. And so with the very hard boss, he has also researched the JP server. And so I believe he's pretty much found the same stuff, except, oh, there's a summer Tamaki version over here. Okay, that one's pretty cool. I have not seen this one. I think these are actually all auto comps. Anyway, we've run through this comp. We've run through this comp. The videos will be in the description below, but I have not seen this one at all, actually. So that's a pretty neat one. Okay, and so so from there, what I'm going to share with you guys is a couple more auto comps and I believe they are virtually identical to the ones from before. And so as you can see, more JP characters up here. So we've got three auto comps in one shot. Oh, sorry, minor correction, two autos and one manual comp. And so I will share this playlist with you guys. Moving on, we have another one over here in which we have four comps. Uh, I believe all of them are possible with, yeah. Okay, yeah, so what I needed to check is that some of them actually like feature Christina, they feature Ray or they feature Kana. Just remember that if it's using Ray, generally speaking, you can't use it. If it's using Christina and Kana, then yeah, of course we can't use it, right? But yeah, here is another four video playlist. I believe this is also an auto run. But as you can see down here, it is virtually identical to the other ones. Moving on, we have another one, which is exactly the same as the other comps from before. And let me just flick through this. That's the Chica variant. That's the Akino variant. And that's pretty much it, guys. And so with all of that being said, why don't we try one of these bad boys out. You guys already know, I'm a big fan of auto. I am gonna go try this one out. This one is probably the only one I can run on auto. I don't have Chika, I don't have Akino, and so I just have to use my five star Yukari. That's okay because Yukari is super awesome, so let's freaking run it. Alright guys, we are in the game. This is the very hard boss and we are running the Yukari variant. And as you can see, nobody is higher than rank 10, so hopefully, hopefully, this is just gonna be a free free auto. Alright, we are in now. We are going two times auto and so hopefully by the end of this, oh, whoopsie. Let me just skip through this one real quick. Okay, here we go. And so we are at 120 down and this is this is a freaking breeze. I don't see anybody dying. Everyone's looking real freaking good. Yeah, as long as, oh, that's what I'm talking about, I guess. But um, I don't know if that is indicative, you know, like it, if, if I got a crit, is this really a one punch? You know what I mean? Is this really a one shot clear? Eh, it's all right. We're at 41 seconds, 40 seconds, and we have almost completely cleared the boss. We have a whole bunch of UBs, nobody is dying. This is actually an extremely stable clear. 30 seconds left, we've got Makoto coming. Oh my God, okay, you know what? I don't think this run is indicative of like a real auto run at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, all right, 16 seconds. I need to be ready to actually force close this in case it goes bad. So we've got the, okay, we've got Makoto and Takari. This is, yeah, this is fine. This is, this is so easy. Holy crap. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, oh, tree, yeah, that's a different ending screen. All right, that's, that was so easy. That's, yeah. I mean, I'm like fully kitted out in five stars. So hopefully you guys will have like some similar like level of success as well. But yeah, that's kind of the boss in a nutshell. We've got the Halloween Miyako shard guarantee. That's what I'm talking about. And so with that, I think we've covered the event. We've covered the very hard boss and all of the different comps. But otherwise, it's time for the secret question. And what I want to ask is, how did you guys do on this boss? Did you guys find it as easy as I did? Or did you guys struggle a little bit? Were you able to one turn or two turn it at least? Or were you struggling a little bit and had to three turn? And so if you guys could drop your answer to that secret question down in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise please consider a like a sub a follow and if you would like to support the channel we have an affiliate link down in the description as well as a membership thing but otherwise as the halloween miyako once said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye